Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to Arrowverse vs. Smallville Updated. Now, when I clicked on the video to get it ready to get this video started, it popped up on the screen. The very first thing you see when you start the video, it says Arrowverse vs. Smallville comparison of the characters of the Arrow and Smallville universes. So we're going to be seeing comparisons of Superman on Smallville and on the Arrowverse, which is Supergirl, obviously. And I guess we'll see the comparison of Green Arrow on Smallville and Arrowverse. Now, I'm not going to be like picking which one I like better or whatever. I'm just going to be seeing the comparisons and then just talking after the video and just kind of giving my thoughts on it. But I'm just going to look at the comparisons of it. I'm not going to say, okay, Arrowverse is better, Smallville is better. I'm not going to say any of that. I'm just going to watch the video and see the comparisons of the characters from the different universes and then just talk about what I like and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, there you have it. Arrowverse versus Smallville. Let's get into it now, guys. Let's go. That's how loud. Like that picture. Oh wow. There's a lot more characters. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, starting off with Superman. I feel like with his costume, it looks better when it's actually in motion. I like that the jacket. That's cool. Yep. Season four. Which was one of the best suits. People compare them all the time. Which one's better? She never really had a suit on uh, Smallville, from what I uh, from what I know. Dinah Laura Lance. Hmm, that's interesting. The little yellow in the mask. Who becomes Guardian? Oh. He's uh, Iceman from X-Men, I think. Yep. Oh, wow. That's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's from um, Longmire. Oh, Malcolm. Malcolm was on Smallville? Oh, wow. Or unless they called that just the Dark Archer. They didn't say Malcolm. Oh, here we go. Like under his jacket, you kind of see the outline of the, the red X. That's cool. The character that just magically disappeared when Supergirl Season 2 started. Okay. Uh, wait, Slade? Well, I didn't know Deathstroke was on Smallville. I gotta say Amanda Bennett. That had better. That, I'm sorry, that was picking, I'm sorry. But that was just one I had to do. I, wait, I did not know that. I haven't seen a lot of Smallville. I, I know a lot of the characters that appeared on the show. I've, no, I've not really seen it, though. I'm assuming we don't see Speedy on Smallville that much. Maybe I'm wrong. Amanda Waller. They shouldn't have killed her off on Arrow, by the way. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta admit the Supergirl outfit was way better. That's not Brainiac. That's Indigo, right? I think that's her name. What was that for? They shouldn't have killed him either. Okay, he's a cowboy. Alright. Okay, General Lane. I mean, it's just a general. That's all it is. Now, we don't see Hot Girl in the suit on Smallville. I don't think. We see Hawkman. In the suit. At least his is a little more comic book accurate, a little bit. A little bit. Hmm. The only difference is the hair, really. 
Another character that magically disappears when Supergirl goes to season two. Interesting. Well, we all know because they moved, uh, they moved the filming of the show to Vancouver, right? Vancouver, Canada. So the t those two actors, Maxwell Lord and Lois Lane's sister, out the picture. I liked him on Supergirl. Oh, that's even more creepy. Oh, that's creepier looking. Oh, oh God. Oh wow. Wow, like that was that's they're very similar. Oh, Roulette was on uh, Smallville. I don't know. I don't need to watch the entirety of the show. Star Girl, yeah, yeah. Star Girl lo looked a lot better on Arrow. I mean, Arrow Legends, Toy Man. But this toy man probably wasn't a dad at that point. It had that old connection they brought in with Supergirl with Wynn. Okay. So even though I did do a little bit of comparing, saying, eh, I felt like Deathstroke and Arrow was better than Smallville, and I was saying how, um, what was I also mentioning? Ah, oh, God. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, what was the other one that I was saying looked better? Stargirl looked a lot better. It it's interesting. It's interesting that Smallville lasted for 10 seasons and they did a lot of things on that show like they covered a lot of things uh, The only thing they really didn't cover really is I don't think they did Green Lantern and they didn't do Batman obviously I think they, they brought in a character That was kind of like Bruce Wayne, but not really I think at one point in the show But they couldn't use Bruce Wayne. They couldn't use Batman. I don't know why But it's interesting to see the comparisons here um you know, at the end of the day, you have to give credit to Smallville. Yes, um, the show, because I started watching the first season, and it's really slow. Like, I know a lot about the show. I just haven't really seen, I haven't seen it in its entirety. I have not. I started season one, and, and it, it got really hard for me to keep watching. So literally, I would find clips online on YouTube, like even before I started watching the show and even after when I started it, finding all the best stuff about it because it was really hard to get through some of the storylines where it was really cringeworthy, especially in season one. And it's just because the show started off and I'm assuming that CW didn't have a lot of faith in the show at first, probably why they did some really weird stuff. I don't know why, but, but the more stuff they covered and the more characters they introduced later on in the show, they had a bigger budget and they were able to do more. And you got to give credit to Smallville because I think if Smallville was not as successful in its entirety as it was, I don't think the Arrowverse would be as popular as it is now. I don't think it would be... I don't think we would have four shows in the Arrowverse if if Smallville failed. Or Smallville just ultimately didn't work at the end of the day. Um, so you gotta give credit to Smallville for that. But it's really cool to see the Arrowverse is covering a lot of the same characters. And obviously Arrowverse has done other characters that Smallville didn't do. And there's characters Smallville covered that Arrowverse hasn't done yet. And the main reason why is because... The DCEU is starting, and I think there's still an issue with rights and all that kind of stuff, with character rights, whether it's the movies or TV show, and it feels like that if a character is going to be in a movie, they're not going to have the character on TV except for The Flash. Um, but you, you see what I mean? It's just, it's all about character rights. I feel like if DC just kind of let their guard down a little bit and just allowed the CW and allowed Fox and all this kind of stuff and, uh, and other uh, networks and even you know, Netflix, Hulu, whatever, to kind of allow, because, I mean, they're doing their own streaming service, so they're at, they're, they're able to do Teen Titans, Titans, basically, live action, but I feel like with what they show, what what they've done on Smallville, that they even, there's even characters that weren't even covered here because Arrowverse hasn't touched them. I feel like they just need to give more, more freedom, but Smallville was very lucky to do a lot of the stuff they did. Um, it, it's a shame they didn't do Batman. But I think in season 11 of Smallville, which is a comic book, it's not an actual uh, filmed TV series. It's not a continuation of the show. It is, but it's in comic book form. Batman shows up. But it's only because it's comic book and it's not a property. It's not on TV or anything like that. So it's a whole different situation. But yeah, gotta give, gotta give Smallville credit. Um, but yeah, I... You can tell some of the outfits for Smallville were on the ch on the cheaper side, but it's it's okay because if the show, 
if the show didn't work, we wouldn't have what we have today. So we got to give props. And people still want um, Tom Welling, who played Clark Kent on Smallville, to reprise his role as Clark Kent slash Superman from an alternate Earth. He's obviously not on the same Earth as Supergirl being Superman, but he's out there somewhere in the multiverse. He's out there somewhere. So maybe, maybe one day, Tom Welling will return in a crossover event or something, and he'll be Clark Kent again. Who knows? That'd be amazing to see him interacting with other characters. It'd be cool to see him interact with Supergirl and Superman on her Earth, and he shows up and he interacts with another Superman. It'd be really weird, but it'd be really cool at the same time. But anyways, guys, I kind of sidetracked it, but it was really cool to see this uh, comparison video to kind of see, you know, um, the differences and some of the similarities. I mean, some of the outfits looked really close, and some of the characters, like, looking-wise, looked really close, and others were far apart from each other. But it's a pretty cool video. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you thought about this video. Um, maybe just whatever. I mean, characters, uh, the Arrowverse, Smallville, whatever. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Thank you so much for watching my reaction.